Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So a couple of days ago, I let you know that our next stable version of Edge version 133 will introduce a dedicated scareware blocker, which will use machine learning to identify and block malicious scams. Now, just to let you know that yesterday on the 27th of January, Scareware Blocker is now rolling out as a preview for all Edge users on Windows PCs, according to an announcement by Microsoft, which they posted yesterday. So it seems that they've rolled this out early. Now, when I posted previously, I didn't have the feature available. But now that it's rolled out in preview, if we head into our settings, and this is across the board, by the way, this feature is now available, according to Microsoft. If we head to Privacy Search and Services, and we head to the security section. Yeah, you'll see Scareware Blocker. Allow Microsoft to use AI to detect potential tech scams. You can click on the Learn More link, which will take you over to the said article and post. And just take note, though, it's still in preview. So I think that's the reason it's rolled out before version 133 of Edge. Because it's still in preview, it's still in beta. So it could have a couple of bugs. And I think this will roll out officially out of preview in our next stable release version 133 and yeah you can see that the feature is turned off by default so if you want to use the scareware blocker you can turn that on and i think that's a good move because obviously ar um, raises privacy flags with certain users of microsoft edge so keeping this off if you are interested in privacy may be a good option but obviously if you want to block um, scareware then you obviously would need to turn that on. Now, just a quick recap. Scareware scams are particularly convincing. Um, they're a type of tech support scam, as you can see. And this is an example from that post of Microsoft. And what they do is they use aggressive web pages to convince you into thinking that your system is infected with malware and then pressure you to call a fake tech support a number and try to gain access to the computer. And what Scareware Blocker does, as mentioned, it uses a machine learning model to recognize the signs of Scareware scams. Now, basically, what is a Scareware scam and what, what are the indications of a Scareware scam? Basically, the anatomy of that scam is scams move fast to evade detection. That's the first thing. And Scareware sites often use full screen mode, as we can see in the example provided. Just like um, popular video sites, so users know they can press escape to exit full screen mode. But Scareware, what it does, um, it tries to camouflage the escape option, leaving you unsure of what to do next. Now, obviously, this is more pertaining to your not so tech savvy person. What Scareware does is it also uses audio and keyboard mouse tricks to incite panic. That's another um, symptom of a Scareware attack. So according to Microsoft, Scareware Blocker will help doing the following. Once an abusive site, they say, is detected, it will use Smart Screen. And then when Scareware Blocker suspects a scam, Edge will exit full screen mode. It will stop the aggressive audio playback and warning the user. And it will show a thumbnail of the page that you were just viewing. So and this is an example of what Scareware Blocker will do when it detects, obviously, that um, malicious website. So here you can see at the bottom here, it's got a preview of that thumbnail, what the page was all about. And then what Microsoft says is that once um, you are back in control, so to speak, of your browser, uh, Scareware Blocker will let you report the malicious site to protect others and obviously it'll guide you through that process once it um, obviously gives you this warning, the site looks suspicious. So that's just a quick kind of a hands-on um, of what the feature is all about. And as mentioned, it's starting to roll out now as a preview. So you can toggle that on if you so wish for all edge users on Windows PCs. So Microsoft says Windows PCs. There's no mention of any other platforms, but um, I thought I'd just give you that quick overview and a quick kind of um, hands-on as to what the feature is all about and it'll be interesting to know if you have received this in your region so if you have just let me know or if you haven't just let me know in the comments but according to microsoft now um this is rolling out for all edge users 
on Windows PCs. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.